What is going on, you guys? It is your boy Cyrus Obsidian here at Obsidian Games, here to bring you more Yu Gi Oh content. So let's dive right in. So for today's video, let's talk a little bit about our Yu-Gi-Oh accessories. So if not like many of you duelists, I like to customize my accessories and I like to have them be you know, suited to me as a player. So that way when I show up to locals dealing with friends, you know, my accessories speak about who I am as a duelist and less about how much I've spent on them, if that makes any sense. So for today, we're just kind of got to go through some, you know, big accessories. You know, one, we got, you know, play mats, probably the biggest thing. You've got card sleeves and then your deck boxes, probably the three biggest accessories as a Yu-Gi-Oh player that we have. And there are other accessories like tokens, um, field centers, even, you know, calculators, dice, things like that, that are totally up to you as a duelist. But I think these three are the biggest things that I want to discuss today. So let me flip my camera down so I can sh go over some accessories with you guys. All right, so first on my list of accessories is obviously the playmat. So as you can see, I've got you know the playmat that you guys have very well seen many times and time again on this channel. My personalized, customized one. It is the you know rubber silicon mat, and you know it has been a a great mat for starting out and getting a Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Konami actually sells like their own versions, which are really cool. The the one thing that has me down on the out of these is if you can see, you know, along the edges right here, you know, it's fraying a bit, and that that's just from standard wear and tear and use of it. You know, we've been using this for about a year now consistently. If I go to locals or you're seeing me do deck profiles, you know, I've been using this one or the other one that has actual zones on it. I like the one without the zones, as you can very well see. Um, but I primarily use this one for when I go to locals, obvious, because you know it brands me, it shows my my you know logo, as we call it, or shall we call it. And you know, it's been a really good mat. But today we did receive a second mat that I kind of want to go over and show you guys. Uh, let's just you know get it out of the packaging first. Maybe the knife's a little too overkill for it. Um, that I just picked up today, and it's another custom one. So this um, silicon mat I got from Ink Gaming, and I had it custom made. Uh, this new play mat I actually picked up from Ophidian Games, and it's actually a felt play mat, which already pulling it out. I already like it. Holy crap. So I've seen many, many duelists have like these cool felt ones and already just pulling it out. Oh man, I love it. You can see the, the bright artwork, how vibrant it is. And it just feels really nice. So Ophidian Games, if you are watching this, like you did one heck of a good job. It is a two player mat, as you can see, so it's got another side. Um, again, it highlights me as a duelist, you know, playing primarily Pendulum, even though my channel hasn't reflected much of that. We have been playing a lot of different things, but like Pendulum is my overall favorite, so it highlights that theme. You also see like Teller Knight right here, Circular here, and then you, on this side, you'll see, you know, Turbulence and Heat Soul, just because like I, I have piloted those decks as well. But yeah, already like, <laughs> this is such a cool mat. Just got to remember how it folds up. So we put it back right. So, you know, you have two options essentially for play mats. You know, you can go with this felt one, which, you know, was actually at a really good price. Um, or you can go with the, the rubber silicon, which is still also really great. As a duelist, you know, you... Starting out, I think getting a silicon mat is the way to go because it is just, you know, easy to get. It's very accessible to like everyone as Konami does make their own. And they're just relatively easy to, to get. The next thing I want to talk about are card sleeves. So 
I'm just going to pull out a couple different decks here. And, you know, each, each deck is in a different color. So I like to use different colors for my decks. And it's not to necessarily color code them per se, but it's just to kind of give them some character outside of the um, like normal white or normal black sleeves, right? So as you can see, we've got, you know, one of my favorite decks that I like piloting, which is you know, Pendulum in this cool little jade color uh, from Dragon Shield. So I, I was a firm believer of using Ultra Pros for a really long time until I switched to Dragon Shields because I broke my Ultra Pros like it was no one's business, which is kind of funny. And Dragon Shields, I have gone through less, but I will say I actually do buy a lot more Dragon Shields just because I like their different colors that they have. You know, they're always coming out with something new. You know, Jade, for instance, is probably one color that I've bought quite a few times. Along with this mint color, um, if you've seen a lot of my deck profiles, you'll see like I have all my extra deck stuff sleeved in mint, and it's because I bounce my extra decks around a lot. You know, cards from different extra decks, so that way I'm not having like multiple copies of a card. Even though like in some cases it is feasible, like you know Baron for instance, you know that card has been reprinted, so it's very cheap to pick up. You know, just maybe a couple for so that way I'm not having to bounce around the one copy I originally had. So. That, that's the reason why I have like my extra deck sleeves in a different color than my main deck, but also so that way I'm not accidentally shuffling in the extra deck into the main deck. So this is another color that I really like, the jet black. Uh, it gives, you know, it's just really cool, the black with the like stardust, as I like to call it, in there. As you can see, like the little fragments of, you know, crystallization or whatever. And this is for Scareclaw. So again, like these, this, my sleeving choice is just to give character to my decks. It's not that, you know, buying a single color is bad or anything, because you totally can do that. You totally can. But I like having a variety. And this is another color. This is Slate. Again, these are all Dragon Shield sleeves. I, I did use the Konami sleeves at one point, but those things were just too fragile and they break. If you do use them, I highly recommend getting like a top sleeve for it, an over sleeve. So that way you're not ruining it, ruining it, because they are easily, easily, they'll easily break, which is kind of sad. They're not very, they don't last very long when shuffling. So I, I definitely recommend Dragon Shields as they do feel really great. You know, they last a while. Um, I was originally using Dragon Shields that I picked up in 2017, no, 2018 for this deck until I picked up and, or I guess Mathmic died. And so I was like, you know, we'll steal Mathmic sleeve because I really like the color and I would like to play the color. So, and we you know, took those dragon shields and put them in this one. Also, they shuffle really nice. You know, as you can see here, whether you do that kind of a shuffle, this kind of a shuffle, whatever, you know, they, they shuffle really nicely. So that is sleeves. The last thing is the deck boxes. So there are tons, tons of deck boxes that you can get out there. We've got, you know, various different examples here of like the different deck boxes that you can get. There is no like one way to go. Um, these guys, so these are like probably the ones that you'll find at like Walmart, Target, whatever. Uh, you can also find them at your local game store. You know, they're really simple, really easy. You know, I use this to store, it looks like some extra deck stuff because you know it's it, they're really great for storage this as well is just used for you know extra cards that i bounce between decks or whatever and these are ones that i use primarily for decks so we got this one by ultimate guard which is really great i love the, the way it flips out it's very small holds the deck and i love it it's just perfect for you know one deck then i can't remember what the branding is on this one um, but this was something that i got off amazon you know, it's also really great. It has that same mentality, but it's, you know, obviously got more space. So you can put like your Magic the Gathering deck or Lakana, Yu-Gi-Oh, or you can make it be your storage. You know, I have one that I, that I keep in my backpack that's just full of sleeves. So I can you know, take that with me. This is another one. Um, this is by BCW or Deck De De Case LX. I actually got this from a friend. And, you know, it's very simple in design. Just opens up like that. And you put your deck in, pull it out. 
you know, you see we've got some more space that we can put in sleeves. Also really great. And then the last one, um, this one's actually from Konami. You know, you can see it's got the Millennium Puzzle or the Millennium Ring on the sides. It's got, you know, you go trading card game right there. And it's really cool because it comes out all the way like that. So you can, you know, put pull in, put out your cards. And again, this is another one that like it's got tons of space that you can still put more in it. And I like this one. You know, this is you know, very sentimental to me. But, you know, there is no wrong or right way for decks. You know, I have also, I don't have them with me, but I do have those monster deck boxes that you can buy off of Amazon as well. You know, most of this stuff you can buy off of Amazon or your card shop. You know, this, unfortunately, you have to, like, get from your card shop as pricing. They may or may not sell it, or you can buy it off of eBay. But, you know, there, there's so many options that as a duelist that you have to make your deck your play style, the way you represent yourself, you know, a little extraordinary or, you know, you, you come out as not haughty, but you know, confident in yourself as a duelist, which is what I'm trying to convey here is that, you know, no matter what you pick, as long as you're confident in those picks, you know, you're representing that as yourself as a duelist alongside your deck. You know, everything for me has a meaning, has a choice. You know, we play the jet black sleeves for Scareclaw Cashtira because, you know, you know, you think of scaring or scary, you think of black abysmal, cash tira, you think of the Shanger era lock, along with Diablosis, and you just, you know, that kind of sucks, right? <laughs> so like everything has some sort of meaning to me outside of, you know, just playing the deck. So that's, that's pretty much it that I have for, you know, th these accessories. I think no matter what you pick, you can't go wrong as long as you have them. Because then you'd show that you care about this game, you're protecting your cards as best as you can, and you're just out there to have fun. Because ultimately, if we're not there to have fun playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, then we're doing something wrong. Or if you're there to just, you know, win tournaments, you know, that's cool. That's cool motivation for you. But as a rogue player myself, as you can see, like Scarecall Cash Tira, Pendulum Magician, you know, those those aren't really like meta defining decks, right? They are, you know, just rogue rogue options that appeal to anyone. So that that's it that I have for this video, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, you know, check out my Instagram. I, I keep saying that I'll post more often and I will, I promise I'll post there. I'll post, post stuff on there. I'm trying to get into the habit of doing it. And remember to also comment, you know, what, what are your guys' favorite sleeves? You know, do you like ultra pros? Do you like dragon shields or do you pick up, you know, Sleeves from your favorite duelists that they sell, like Cali Effect sells Raven Wings, Team Sam sells Supreme Pros, you know, stuff like that. You know, let me down, know down in the comments below and what are your thoughts on it. Same thing with play mats as well, and same thing with deck boxes. I'd love to hear your guys' comments and see what recommendations you have that I should maybe pick up down the line. But that's it. We'll catch you in the next one.